In this video we're going to look at how you can adjust the BP sky sphere that comes in with any default map that you create in Unreal Engine 4. The BP sky sphere works in tandem with a directional light which in the default map is called the light source. When you first create a default map it comes in with a kind of midday look with lots of clouds in the sky but you can adjust both of those actors and create a sunset look you can also create a nighttime look with stars or you can go for something that looks maybe a little bit more alien. To change the BP Sky Sphere, you change it in the Details panel. So with the BP Sky Sphere selected, you go to the Details panel and the two sections you want to look at are this one called Default and this one called Override Settings. Under Directional Light Actor is where the light that is attached to this BP Sky Sphere in creating the sun effect is selected. If you make any changes to that light source, you need to click on this grey square here which doesn't look like it but it is actually a button and that will refresh the sky sphere so that it reflects the changes that you've made to the light source. Here you can select whether or not the changes you make to the position of your sun will affect the colors of the sky so whether you're going to get a sunset effect or not. You can affect the brightness not of the actual light from the sun but of the disk that is representing the sun in the sky. You can speed up or slow down the movement of the clouds. You can adjust the visibility of the clouds using the opacity setting here. You can adjust the brightness of the stars. The sun height here is connected to the light source so you actually don't change that but when you do change the light source and you click the refresh material you'll see that number change there and the horizon fall off relates to the relationship between these two colors here the zenith color and the horizon color with all of these things you want to just play around with them one by one to see how they affect the sky lastly you have this, the cloud color and then the overall color that's kind of like an overall cast over the whole sky so to create the first effect that we're going to do, which is the sunset effect, the first thing you need to do is to select the light source in your viewport and go to your rotation tool. Every directional light has this strong arrow here, which is showing you the actual direction that the light is in. So we're at a kind of, you know, 11 a.m. midday light setting here, but we want to adjust this with our rotation tool so that we're more at a sunset angle for our sun and once we've done that we want to go back to our BP sky sphere settings and click on that refresh material button and you should see that the sun height number here has changed and that's all you've got to do to get a sunset look. So let's now look at what you need to do to create a nighttime scene. If you rotate the directional light source that is connected to the sky sphere and causing the sun in the sky so that that directional arrow is pointing anywhere within this top arc if you're looking at side view what that will do is place your sun beneath the platform of the world that you're on and if you click the refresh button you will get a nighttime effect immediately but you can also adjust the colors and the settings of various elements of the sky to create a more detailed nighttime look if you uncheck the box next to colors determined by sun position. So these are the settings I used to create that scene. I increased the cloud speed, I dropped the cloud opacity, I increased the star brightness and I increased the horizon fall off and then fiddled with the colors here. As soon as you change anything within the details panel you'll notice you get this little yellow arrow happening and what that'll do if you click on that it will return any of the settings that you've changed to their original default settings. Because your sun is now below the level of your floor in your world, you are going to need to add another directional light source to create some moonlight for your nighttime scene. Now that you understand what the different settings are inside the BP Sky Sphere details panel, you can just play around with them. So for example here, I've made my clouds green, I've used purple as the colors for the sky and the sky cast. I've also made the light source a purple color as well and bumped up its intensity and those settings created this kind of kooky alien sky effect that you can see here.